Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Beer Reviews back at you today with another one. And what I'm looking at is a beer from Kettlehead Brewing Company out of Franklin, New Hampshire. This is the Yo-Yo Mama double IPA clocking in at 8% alcohol by volume. I was looking at this label and thinking to myself, man, that really looks familiar to me. Well, I wonder why that is. I'll tell you why that is. Because there you go. Seinfeld. Eerily similar. Yo Yo Mama. Anyway, uh, love the label design. Seinfeld is one of my all time favorite shows, uh, comedy, you know, sitcom shows. Um, and I had to pick it up just because of the label. So. Uh, this was packaged uh, right at a month. As a matter of fact, actually, it's more like five weeks ago. Almost five weeks. So still relatively fresh. Um, never had this beer before, but I love Seinfeld. I love the label and uh, the similarities between the Seinfeld logo and color scheme and all of that. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and pour it up and try it out see what we're working with here another really active beer I wonder if this if it's the glass I have two other beers out of this glass and uh, they just pour I mean I'm not even pouring very aggressively and just super lively head so the appearance is kind of a yellowish orange, uh, mostly opaque. You see a little bit of light coming through it, but it's a pretty murky beer. Looks like a, you know, standard New England juicy type of IPA, which Kettlehead is known for. Um, let's get an aroma. Let's see what we're working with here. Wow. Uh, citrus, tangerine. Oh, there's something strange with this one. Lemon pledge? I don't know. There's a weird very fragrant it's lemon but it's almost like like a lemon like a lemon drop like it, it's very potent lemon pledge is not correct because that that would be unpleasant it's like a lemon drop sour mix if you've ever had uh, like a, a lemon drop um, shot the, the, the lemon sour mix that you get at the bars where you, you can buy the powder in the store and mix it in with water it smells like that with orange a little bit of bready malt there's a slight berry note as well like a almost like a strawberry, a perfumey strawberry type aroma. It smells good, but man, is it different. It is, uh, it's got a lot of fruit aromas, but they are not what you typically get with uh, a New England type of juice bomb, hazy IPA. So it smells like a winner. It just smells very different, and I'm excited to try it and see what it tastes like after getting the interesting aromas that I'm getting. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. Oh wow, it's a lot more hoppy and earthy, earth, earthy hop notes um, with this one right off the bat. The citrus is there. There's a little bit of that fragrant strawberry type thing. The the lemon drop note does not translate to the palate. 
like a candied lemon or a um, lemon, yeah, like a like a I guess candied lemon flavor. It does not translate to the palate. It's just natural lemon um, with that strawberry uh, fragrant note that translates to the palate in the form of a light like strawberry flavor, but it's it's very light. The earthy hops with this are really kicking and there is a moderate bitterness to this one on the finish. Um, I've been getting over a cold the last couple weeks. I'm going to pause the video and blow my nose so that I can continue to experience the full effect of the beer for my descriptors and my review. All right. Yep. That did it. So I wasn't really missing much before. Um, maybe a little bit more fragrant. The, the strawberry that strawberry you notes know, kind of fading a little bit. It's, it's almost like you get used to it and then it just disappears. Um, carbonation is kind of high with this one, which is interesting because typically with the double IPAs, I get like a low medium. So this is jumped up bumped up a little bit with the carbonation um really an enjoyable beer but this is so different that lemon that candied lemon or lemon drop note if you've had a lemon drop you know exactly what i'm talking about um you know the strawberry and then the palate is so different from the nose in the sense that you get those really um earthy hot vibes on the palate and then the moderate bitterness on the finish, it's its balanced though. I mean, it works. It's just so different than what I was expecting. I and mean, I think if you're a um, lover of the New England IPAs, uh, which Kettlehead does so well, I think that you'll really like this. It's a different, um, it's, it's a change of pace from the, the typical uh, New England juice bomb, but it still has all of those flavors. They just... They're different. They're, they're juicy in a different way. The hops are there, but they're more earthy than fruity um, and a little bit more bitter on the finish. Uh, just so unique um, and excellent. It really is excellent. It, it's not my favorite, but I mean, personal testing, tasting preferences really shouldn't come in the way of, a, of, a, of an excellent beer when it... it adheres to the guidelines of the style and it has everything there it's just a little bit different than what i'm used to and um i would probably like a little bit of tropical fruit in there which i'm not getting i'm getting citrus berry and that earthy hop note um and the candied lemon thing is really strange interesting enjoyable but different and unexpected to be honest with you so I'm going to go with a 94 out of 100. I think it's a pretty solid A. I would definitely recommend it if you like uh, New England IPAs, for sure. This is one to go for, but it will, it will or might catch you off guard if you um, go into it thinking that you're just going to get another tropical fruit forward, um, you know, juice bump because it really has a lot of different notes, uh, all pleasant, all enjoyable, just different. It's the only way I know how to describe it. So 94 out of 100 for the Yo-Yo Ma from Kettlehead Brewing Company out of Franklin, New Hampshire. Buy a try it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I've gone on long enough. Sorry I blabbed on a little bit with this one. Uh, but that'll do it for this beer review, folks. Hope you're all having a nice day. Until next time, everybody. Cheers.